In the last century, the world has experienced some of the most significant speculative bubbles and crashes in history. From the Great Depression of 1929 to the dot-com bubble of 2001, these events have left an indelible mark on the global economy. But what are the common hints of speculative bubbles that we can learn from the past? In this video, we'll explore some of the key signs that suggest the formation of a bubble and the steps we can take to avoid them. First, let's define what we mean by a speculative bubble. A bubble occurs when the price of an asset rises far above its fundamental value, creating a speculative frenzy that eventually leads to a crash. While bubbles can happen in any asset class, such as stocks, real estate, or commodities, they all share certain characteristics. One of the most obvious signs of a bubble is a sharp and sustained rise in prices. This often happens when investors believe that an asset's value will continue to rise indefinitely, leading to a speculative frenzy. But as prices rise further, it becomes more difficult to justify the asset's value based on its fundamentals. This is a clear sign of a bubble. Another sign of a bubble is an increase in trading volumes and market activity. As more and more investors pile into an asset, trading volumes rise, and prices can become more volatile. This is a clear indication that speculative forces are at work. Bubbles can also be fueled by an excess of credit or leverage in the economy. As interest rates are lowered, borrowing becomes cheaper, leading to a surge in demand for assets. This can result in the overproduction of assets like real estate or a building boom, which can create a bubble. Another key sign of a bubble is the presence of a narrative that justifies the asset's high valuation. This narrative can be based on technological innovation, a new paradigm in the market, or the belief that an asset is too big to fail. But as history has shown, these narratives can be misguided and can lead to a crash when they are exposed. So, how can we avoid falling victim to a speculative bubble? One approach is to focus on the fundamentals of an asset and avoid investing based on hype or speculation. It's also important to diversify your investments and avoid putting all your eggs in one basket. And finally, keeping a long-term perspective can help to avoid the temptation to jump into a bubble at its peak. In conclusion, speculative bubbles are a recurring feature of financial markets. While they can be tempting to jump into, they ultimately lead to losses for the majority of investors. By being aware of the signs of a bubble and avoiding the hype, we can protect our investments and build long-term wealth. Thank you for watching.